In this video, we are going to derive the three equations of motion. So, equations of motion. Alright. And the way I'm going to do that is by using a VT graph. So VT. A VT graph basically gives me uh, the, from the information about velocity at any instant of time for my object. So let's say at time t equal to 0, the velocity is v0, and at time t is equal to t, let's say, at some time t, the object has a little higher velocity, let's just say that, and that velocity is v. That's where it's plotted. Now, if my body is going with a constant acceleration, that is a must. Acceleration is a constant. That is the must. Then the VT graph must be a straight line. You can think about this why. Because if if A has to be constant, then V has to be linearly proportional to T. Only then, when you take the derivative, you get the acceleration to be constant. So that is a must. So for that reason, my graph must be a straight line. So this is how the graph would look like for a constant acceleration. So all the three equations of motion, everything that follows only works as long as A is a constant. Otherwise it doesn't work. Alright, let's start with the first one where we have V equal to V0 plus AT. And the way I'm going to prove that is I'm going to use the fact that A equal to the slope of VT. So you take slope under a VT graph, that must give you the acceleration. And the way I can take the slope is I can take this triangle, I can always choose whatever right angle triangle that I want, I'm going to choose this triangle. And that's because it's easy to value this length. You can see that's easy. The whole length, so I, let me give you some names to this. I'll call this as O, I will call this as A, I will call this as B, I will call this as C, and let me call this as D. You can clearly see that CB is um, AC minus AB, and AC is nothing but V. It has to be V, right? And AB is nothing but V0. So this has to be V minus V0. And this, which is dB, well, it has to be t. That's our time. And so the slope is going to be v minus v0 divided by t. Rearranging, I get at is equal to v minus v0. And therefore, I get v minus v0 equal to at. First equation in place. All right. Now let's do second. For second, IU we have delta x equal to v0 t plus half a t squared. Delta x being the displacement. And the way we can derive this is by using the fact that the area under the vt graph must be displacement. It has to be true. And so the area basically is this much the shaded region and since we have a nice geometrical shape there the area is going to be the area of the rectangle and okay the area is going to be the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle so delta x is going to be the area under vt it's going to be the area of rectangle plus area of triangle. What is the area of rectangle? That's basically the length, which is this value, that is t, into the breadth. Well, AB is nothing but V0, so that's V0 here. And area of triangle is half into base into height. We already have the base and we already have the height there. And now I'm going to get rid of this V minus V0. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use this. 
equation over here, this one. And so I'm going to plug that in. And V minus V0 is AT. And we have our second equation that is half AT squared. All right, two down, one more to go. The third equation, which is V squared equal to V0 squared plus 2A delta x can be derived in a number of ways. Um, for one, you can just use the two equations, eliminate t. It might use a little bit of algebra. Uh, I'm going to again use the graph and I will again use the fact that delta x, which is the displacement, is the area under the curve, under vt. But now I will use not just a triangle and a rectangle, I'm going to call that as a trapezium. So it's the area of trapezium and you should know that the area of trapezium is half into base which is t into the sum of the parallel sides one parallel side is OD that is V0 and the other parallel side is AC that is V so that's my delta x um, I need to get rid of t and the way I can get rid of this t is I'm going to use this equation Well. What is T? T has to be V minus V0 by A. So I'm going to plug that in. And so this equation is going to transform as delta X is equal to half into V minus V0 divided by A into V0 plus V. We can almost have our equation ready. This is V square minus V0 square. And there we have it. V squared is equal to V0 squared plus 2A delta X. The three equations of motion in place using VT graph, remember, only works for constant acceleration.